Hello Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. We're just going to have a look at a great example of how those wishing to defend their belief in the globe and try to discredit Flat Earth researchers actually demonstrate that they do not have science on their side. All they have is uh, childish schoolyard type rhetoric and uh, will actually in the process of their attempts to debunk flat earthers will prove that any observation we make can demonstrate to us that we do in fact see that we live on a flat level earth and not a globe. Um, so this guy, uh, what's his name? Where's Wally? Uh, who is, has now become a member of uh, the Wolf Pack which is um, a, a growing cult of people who wish to defend the globe, not with science, but with um, uh, childish rhetoric and attacks against flat earthers. And uh, what he's done is, in this video, he's um, referring to uh, one that I did that was a, a demonstration that uh, just offers up a way or a method um, that anyone can then go ahead and use in real life to make an observation to see whether we observe uh, ships going down a curve or whether we see them going off into the distance on a flat surface. Um, so the video here is Globe Science, How to Make a Curvature Observation, Ships and Horizons. So I wasn't offering, uh, offering up any kind of proof, it was simply a method. And that would be a scientific method because the scientific method dictates that we uh, have a hypothesis uh, based on an idea and we go and make observations and we see if those observations can be repeatable or predictable and the whole point of this particular video was to show that um, by using these bottles to represent ships and two different surfaces a flat surface just a plank of wood uh, on the left and a curved surface on the right we can then make a, an observation that we can then go and use in real life and, and and see whether ships do go down a curve or whether they go off into the distance on a flat surface. So the bottles represent ships and the whole point of this particular video was to demonstrate that when we rise up above the flat surface we see um, uh, the surface uh, beyond the bottle or what would be a ship in real life uh, extend beyond the ship and uh, I can hopefully we can show that, uh, where is it, at a low level we can see here, oops, if I just get my hand out of the way, we can see here that uh, when the camera's down low, um, we have a horizon that is just above the bottom of the bottle. And uh, this being a flat surface uh, means that when we, when we rise up above the flat surface, uh, we can see that the surface extends beyond the bottle and, and the horizon on this very short plank of wood actually rises up relative to uh, the bottle or the ship. Uh, that was the whole point of the demonstration so that people can then go and use this, this observation uh, of a, a, it's a practical demonstration of an ob observation anyone can make in real life. Uh, so what this guy does is um, creates a video uh, calling me Gigantor just because I'm tall. So, you know, the usual kind of schoolboy uh, uh, kind of name calling and says that I've created a straw man, a gigantic straw man, and it's a fail. Uh, again, it wasn't my, my video was just an attempt to offer up a, a methodology that people can then go and use themselves. And what this guy does is he goes and uh, proves it, proves the, that my, the observations that we can make show we live on a flat surface and not a globe. Uh, so what I'll do, okay, he, he just basically refers to my video and makes some points about um, the camera angling and things like that and points to other things like the wheel of the car and the satellite dish and things like that. It's interesting that he uses the um, alleged tilt that I might have accidentally had in my, my 
you know, freehand movement of the camera, um, because in the past we've had videos, for example, by, uh, uh, well, Wolfie is one of the guys that he, he supports, and, and uh, uh, Miles Davis, who have made, who's made, who made observations of objects and, and their relative position to the horizon and eye level and often one of the arguments from the globe earth proponents once it's pointed out uh, that eye level is the center of the field of view when you're looking straight ahead the argument that comes back from the globe uh, defenders is that tilt doesn't matter it's all about you know the horizon is supposed to be your eye level and even if that's uh, low down um, in the camera view or if you've tilted the camera it doesn't matter etc so this guy has then gone against the usual globe uh, defender argument and said that uh, tilt has made a difference to the observation in this case. But really it hasn't. You could still tilt the camera up and down in this view and, and you would still see that the whole point of this uh, video was to show that the surface, the flat surface, extends beyond the bottle. The curved surface uh, is not seen even when we gain height. Uh, so he goes on to point out this and that, but the, the wonderful thing this guy does is actually prove that when we make an observation in real life, we see the effects that we saw with the flat plank, um, which show that it, uh, we, are what we are seeing a, a ship on a flat surface. Um, so here he's pointed out this observation of a ship observed on the left at 97 feet elevation and it appears to be sitting on the horizon. So keeping in mind that um, in the globe Earth uh, model, uh, the horizon is supposed to be the beginning of curvature. That's where the water starts to curve away from us. And so, as I pointed out in my video, even if we gained height, we should not see any more of that uh, surface that should be then curving down and away from us. Yet when um, we compare this photograph of the ship uh, viewed from an elevation of 363 feet, what we actually see is uh, the surface extending way beyond the ship and the horizon uh, rising up uh, to a position, a relative position that is much higher uh, than it was before. And of course we can see in both these images that we have, um, uh, what could you say here about this image on the left? Is, is, is the camera tilting up or down? Well, the horizon isn't at eye level here. The, the, you know, the camera is obviously pointed up. And here we have something more akin to eye level with uh, the, the camera is obviously a lot more horizontal in the right hand image than it was in the left hand image and we do see a horizon that has come up to the camera's eye level as it looks straight across the surface and again the surface extending beyond the ship. So really uh, this guy has made an observation or used an observation that confirms that the, the the, the same observation we see across a flat surface as I pointed out in my uh, little demonstration here. On the flat surface the, uh, the, the surface extends beyond the bottle. On the curved surface even though the cameras gained height we don't see the horizon rise up and we don't see the surface extend beyond the bottle. So I really appreciate that um, this guy, Wes Wally, has gone and offered up an observation that proves uh, we live on a flat Earth, not a globe, because we are not seeing any signs of curvature. We are seeing signs that we're looking across a flat surface. And uh, it's interesting to see a few of the usual uh, people here and name calling, etc. Uh, straw man, straw man, straw man, uh, scale, what have you. Baldy Cat has come here and said superb stuff. Now this is um, this chap is supposed to be a school teacher who teaches science, and so he's joined joined in the name calling and the kind of uh, schoolyard rhetoric. Of course, another phrase you'll often hear from the Globe uh, defenders is "go back to school." Well, um, uh, you know, if you want to go back and be a child 
again and talk in this way, not use science but use uh, uh, ad hominem attacks against people, then uh, go ahead, be my guest because uh, that's really uh, not where I want to be. I'd rather use real science and talk about reality. So thank you very much for that. Love it that you've uh, a Globe Defender has gone out and provided absolute, undeniable, observational proof that we live on a flat earth. Thank you very much.